where hopeful entrepreneurs from across the country dream of a chance to secure an investment and gain powerful partners. On the show Shark Tank, entrepreneurs pitch their ideas for a successful product to a room of potential investors. The iPrize competition at Vancouver iTech Preparatory is just like that. Students design a product and a marketing campaign and pitch it to judges. The project began months ago when teacher Enos Kuna had a moment of inspiration while watching Shark Tank. And I thought, well, we're at a STEM school with a lot of kids that want to be engineers, so what better project than to kind of take that popular media and then give that to them and say, let's do something similar. Students then had to find their own bright idea. It took me a while to think of what I was going to make, but then after I did, I realized that it was actually like not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Engineers from Smith Root Fisheries stopped by teacher Tom Wolverton's classroom to offer advice. Well, somebody did it for me, uh, you know, so it's kind of a payback. I, I did science fair and that sort of thing back when I was in high school and stuff, and so it's just a lot of fun working with the kids. The engineers helped students refine the product designs they'd already been crafting in class. So you explained to me how I'd go about creating a prototype, how I'm going to go and try and build this myself, and then he helped me out with my presentation a lot. He told me all my ideas, how I should present this so people are more interested, people feel like I'm actually solving a problem. Presentation is a big factor to help sell the design. So we were actually looking at ancient Greek rhetoric in my class, ethos, logos, and pathos. How can you have a sense of credibility, also an emotional appeal and um, logical kind of deductive reasoning for why they should invest in your product? Uh, I definitely learned a lot of speaking skills. Uh, I practice my uh, presentation a lot, and so I've definitely found uh, cool ways to just be a better presenter. And so, when the spotlight comes on, the nine finalists are ready to go with PowerPoint presentations, videos, and more to sway the judges. They pitch portable housing, phone cases with built-in wireless earbuds, medical devices, and more. Chloe Morgan designed a plastic mouth bit for horses, which is less cruel than traditional metal ones. I was like really shy about like presenting stuff, but when it came to this, I knew what I was talking about, so it made it easier to explain my product. Daniel Raymond parlayed his hobby, solving Rubik's Cubes, into a first place product. He designed a 6x6 six six cube that is less likely to break and allows for faster gameplay. He took home a cash prize to develop his design. It was very, very unreal. I I'd never even thought I was going to win at all. I, all the other presentations just seemed so good. Chloe, Daniel, and other students hope to develop their products and potentially get them onto the market. It's pretty amazing to think that all these young entrepreneurs are only 14 or 15 years old. I always have high expectations for them, but um, they always just uh, blow me away every single time. For In The Know, I'm Nick Bull.